Creating groups using the group editor. We can create a group uh, without selecting the items first. To do that, we want to go into the architecture tab. We want to go over to the model panel. And we want to go to the hit the down arrow and say create a group. Now, it'll ask us for do we want the group type to be model or detail? We want a model group and we want to give it a name. So I'm going to say it's faculty office um, furniture um, let's, let's just call it set alright and we'll say OK and now we get a, a little uh, panel that will show up and this panel allows us to add, remove uh, we can attach a detail group uh, so we, we want to go on add so we're going to hit some ads and we'll pick on them here as they pick on them they go into the group and I can come in here and say ah alright and I'm done and I'll say finish and voila I've created a group and you can see down here I have a listing of my groups and here's my model groups here's my office furniture set so I can go in there and I can say oh there's my set right there well what happens if I decide that I want to change that um, I can actually go and select my group and at this point then I can double click on it and I can say well I want to add some more things to my group so I'm editing my group and when I'm done I can oop gotta get all of them I'm done I can just say finish alright now if I want to edit my group again see when I hover over it it tells me it's a model group it builds a blue dash line around it gives me the name uh, if I double click on it uh, maybe I want to at this point uh, remove something from there and I can say oh I want to remove something from it I only wanted to have one or three filing cabinets so I can say I'm finished and now when I hover over it I can click on it and you can see I now have three file cabinets in my group so uh, without clicking on the elements first I can group them later and I can do that by going up into my model group under my architecture tab and going to create group and that will allow me to group these elements without having to select them first